Another trend I'm noticing in um, building today is, is paying more attention to the outdoor living spaces. I think it's critical for a beach house's success that you have a great place to not only eat and cook outside, but also places to lounge and just sit around having drinks or just enjoying yourself. We have this big wide porch off the kitchen, which is great. These fun, whimsical umbrella shades that are rolled up that sort of remind me of something you'd find on a boat. I placed this big clam shell right at the back door, which is a place to throw your sunscreen, your flip-flops when you came in. I thought it was kind of funny. And I have just placed these two benches out here, which could be used for additional seating below when you needed, but otherwise, just every day, they look really great here. And then you walk down into a very multifunctional living dining space below. This is a great place to have an outdoor living area because of this wood-burning fireplace that's right here. Of course, it's a focal point. It's surrounded with beautiful landscaping. And then we have this great, super comfortable, old-fashioned wicker series from Lloyd Flanders where we use some umbrella cushions. So it's not only very beautiful, it's indestructible and durable as well. And then I hung this mirror above the fireplace just to add another focal point and to have more dimension. I find that I'm decorating outdoor spaces as indoor spaces more and more. So we've got this great rug anchoring the space out here, which is made of polypropylene. You could literally take it and throw it in a swimming pool if you wanted to. It's completely indestructible, but it adds a great bunch of color and pattern on the floor and makes the space feel cozy and inviting and more like a room. I advise my clients a lot of times to not just think about having a dining table and chairs outside, but to think about setting up a living room as well. So this is a space that really works. It's very inviting and it's very comfortable. This landscaping makes what could have been a sort of an ordinary space into a wonderful little refuge. As it grows and progresses over the years, it's only gonna get better, but even from the first day when it went in, it defined the space. One of the greatest features about this outdoor space is this big retractable awning, which is really great if you want to be out here, you know, in the middle of the day. You just pull out this awning and it just provides such great shade and it's just so attractive the way that it's made with some umbrella fabrics. We have this wonderful round dining table and chairs from Barlow Tyree. I love these mesh chairs with the teak. It's not only is it a great combination of materials, but it's very comfortable to sit in these sling seats and it's very low maintenance. You can just hose this off and you don't have to mess with cushions with these chairs. This bar cart has multi-purposes. I mean, it's great for serving on, it's great for just storing extra things outside, it's great for cooking and at the grill. They have this wonderful big grill out here to fire up and have a 4th of July party. Lighting in an outdoor space is something to pay careful attention to. You want to make sure it's properly lit so that you can enjoy it in the evening hours without feeling like you have to, you know, bring up additional lighting or have candles. And these lanterns from Bevelo have a wonderful look and, and they also do a great job of lighting the space. This beautiful outdoor space is the perfect complement to the indoor space, which is how an outdoor space really should be.